Hello everybody, this is Texas Yarn Lover and I was just wanting to make a little video on a sweet little program that I found on the internet for those of us that are wanting to work in um, graph patterns. Um, I didn't want to pay any amount uh, of money you know for usually very expensive programs out there and I didn't want to do that so I went out in search of a free program and I found it. It's called Knit Pro from Micro Revolt and you just Google it Micro Revolt Knit Pro and it'll give you this link. You click on the link and it'll take you to this page which is the Knit Pro 2.0. Now you have options of what type of image file you can use GIF, JPG, EJ or PNG sometimes a JPEG is JPG so that's also acceptable but your file does have to be less than one megabyte and it gives you different uh, sizes uh, regular big and extra large you can also choose whether you're gonna crochet cross stitch or needle point if you're gonna use it for that it's a one-on-one -on -one ratio or if you're gonna knit in portrait style or knit in landscape so here is how you use it. You click on choose file and it opens up this window and I've already gone and set a couple of pictures in here but I've I've chosen some of the pictures and this is one of the pictures that my little girls uh, worked on their DS's and they wanted me to take a picture of so I did and how do I know what size it is? So you go up here to this little icon, drop down arrow, and go to details. And now I've highlighted the, the crab picture, so I want to know how big that is. That's a little bit too big, so I need to downsize that one. Okay, so I right click on it and say open with, and I want to use paint. Paint, I believe, comes already preloaded. On Windows computers and it'll click it and it'll be huge but I don't want it that size I want it a little bit smaller so I'm going to type in here 50 okay and now that it's 50 just hit OK and it'll reduce the size of your picture if you still think it's too large because right here one megabyte it's still the same size that the original picture is but if you go up here and save as you'll see crab just name it a different name crab 2 and save it's actually under a thousand kilobytes so that will work and that is less than one megabyte so if I want it a little bit smaller so I'm going to go ahead and redo that again I'm going to put in 50. Now you can do per pixel if you're f more familiar with pixels. I just stay on percentage because it's just easier to think for me that way. And then click OK. And now it's reduced. Now I don't want all the blue lines and this outline on it, so I'm going to crop it. So I'm going to hit Select, Rectangle Selection, and make sure you're further away from far out enough away to capture everything that you want. So that's good for me. And I hit crop. If you want to crop it again, you can. This is good enough for me, so I'm going to hit save because I've already saved it once and it's still crab 2 paint. So I'm going to hit save. Now you get out of there. Okay. And here it is. Here's your crab 2 file that you just created or that I did. And you click open. All right, now it's attached, crab to JPG. And then you hit submit. Before I hit submit, I want to show y'all, they don't charge you anything to do this, but they do have a PayPal donate button. So if you want to donate something for them having the creative mind and creating this uh, program, you can. Now you hit submit, and what you will be taken to is a PGN file with your crab. Now I kept it on regular. And regular is, is kind of smaller version of a blanket. In, in other words, it has less rows and less, less um, stitches across. So if you like this, 
you can save it. If you don't like it, you go back, you say let's try it in a bigger size, and you already have your file chosen, so you hit submit, and it'll come with a bigger, and now you can see more detail in the crab. So I think this this program is such a neat neat way to get your feet wet get you know try it out try afghan patterns if you don't know how to do afghan patterns there are great videos and i'll post those links down below so you can follow how it is to properly do afghan patterns but this will get you started on creating your own graph patterns i hope you guys enjoyed this video please Subscribe and like the video down below and we'll see you later. Bye-bye